is it you want? Boobaloos. Boobaloos? What, what is boobaloos? Milk. Milk? You ones, I want you ones. My ones? Come on then. I want blue blue. Come sit on my knee. I want blue blue. <laughs> Hmm, there we go. So, a few people have asked me to make a video about about public breastfeeding. And so today we're two in it. Today we're sat in a park in Chiang Mai. Wait a minute, just wait a minute. <laughs> and we're gonna do some breastfeeding. So Shay is already very eager. He doesn't want to wait. I actually consider myself a breastfeeding activist in that I feel very strongly about normalising breastfeeding. So if and when Shay wants to feed somewhere, I will just feed him. It's rare that I will refuse. There are the odd situations. I can't even think of an example right now, but generally I will feed him if he needs to be fed because I believe that is how optimally we would be in society. But what I notice is that we're not quite there yet. There is some shame still around about breastfeeding. There is a lot of confusion about what breastfeeding is. Confusion about it being a sexual thing, a sexual act. Darling. <laughs> and what, what is a boundary for me is having two breasts out at the same time. I'm willing to breastfeed in public. I'm willing to feed a four-year-old in public. But I am not willing to have two boobs out at the same time! <laughs> and in Thailand it is a little bit more conservative here, so I feel a little bit, well, quite a lot more uncomfortable about that. Darling, please don't take the other one out. Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm going to have to take you off if you take the other one out. So yeah, I didn't know he was going to do that today. He has, he did have a habit of that for, gosh, quite a while, maybe the last year and a half, where he really, when we're at home, I'm generally topless or I'll get both boobs out quite happily. But when we are out, he is not used to that. So he doesn't understand why he can't just have free access to both breasts. And he will do his best to get them both out. Um, he hasn't done it much recently, but obviously it's still there. So yeah, my hope for the future is that we see more breastfeeding around, not less, and that we see more women feeding easily and practically and comfortably rather than discreetly. I don't believe that women sh should or need to feed discreetly. Shay, I'm going to take you off then if you keep doing that. Do you want to feed or not? Yeah, alright, so just one boob in That's it. Yeah, I don't believe that feeding discreetly is a necessity for anybody else's benefit. Of course, if women want to feed discreetly, that's entirely their own choice. I do not want to feed discreetly, I just want to feed comfortably and easily. I want to make it work. And if some people see me breastfeeding and they are reminded of the fact that we are mammals and the biological way that we feed our child is through breast milk, then I think that's great. If it brings some feelings up for some people, I think that's okay too. Okay, I'm actually going to have to take Shay off now because he has attempted to take my breast out and not my other breast out and I am not comfortable with that. So I'm holding his hand. It's rather annoying. The trials and tribulations of feeding with a four-year-old. So I may have to just cut this video short. Lots of love. <laughs> like and subscribe if you want. <laughs>